what is up guys I don't know what that was but it was just a noise um I have a balloon trick for you it was a special request from Mickey Scrolls if you guys haven't seen that channel yet I highly recommend it if you guys are a big Disney fans big lounge life fans uh just big anything Disney fans or if you guys like to hear about a lot of small shops, um, I highly suggest going to their channel. Um, one of their balloon tricks that they asked me and they uh, really wanted to see, which luckily um, they saw a couple of my Limeworth videos and now they're thinking about trying some out, which is awesome. Um, they wanted to learn how to break a balloon. In a couple of my line work tutorials, you guys are going to see that I break balloons in half all of the time. So now I'm actually going to show you guys how I do that trick. So I just inflated a balloon, it really doesn't matter. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways. I like to squeeze and stretch if I can. A lot of the times I can't. So you can always just take, you know, your scissors and chop it off. But no. Um... That's cool and all, but you have to try and catch the rest of it most of the time. So, a lot of us balloon artists, we figure out tricks. There's cutters, where they're professional balloon cutters, and you just slip it into it. It's like a C um, shape, and you just... I don't know why the noises was necessary. And then they have, um, like, uh, I think it's called, like, fish ring, or fish string something like that uh cutters and it works the same way as the c shape and you would just take their nozzle and you or wherever and you just slide it in that works as well but i don't really like finger uh anything on my fingers as i'm twisting it tends to make balloons pop another thing is you don't need nails for this trick i'm about to show you why am I showing you my hands? I don't know. I'm crazy. Um, speaking of, do you like my stuff? Do you like my ears? Um, I have a video that was uploaded, well, after you guys see this video, yesterday. Two days ago. <laughs> um, but let's get to it. So, like I said, there's cutting options. There's professional balloon cutters. What I like to do, if I have the chance... I squeeze the balloon down just a little bit to soften it. This is how I prefer to do it. So, I put my finger right on top, on top of the balloon. I push my finger in a little bit more. And then, whatever. well, I like to use my right hand. Whatever hand you're doing, and I squeeze. So, I have it in my hand. I push, well I put it on top, I push in. I like to grab my other hand and hold it there, like squeezing it like that, if you guys can see it. And then I pull with whatever finger has, with whatever hand has my finger pushing down. And then pull. And then I'm still pinching I'm just pinching this part with the rest of the balloon. So then, I'm going to show you again. You can let the air out. And tie a knot. Ready? Squeeze and stretch. Uh, again, you don't always have the opportunity to do that, but if you're a beginner, and you're just inflating random sizes, who cares? Um, next one, I know some people... Are able to just grab it and push one hand up or well, forward and one hand back and snap. I don't know how they do that. Again, not necessary, but let's just try it again. Okay. Um. But, uh, if you guys can do that, that's cool. Now we're going to work backwards. We're going to show you another one. I'm going to push the air up here. 
Let me know if you guys want to learn this trick too. So, there's nothing here. So, let me know if you guys want to learn how to do that. But anyway, I'm just going to twist it off up here if I have something to hold on to. And the other thing you can do is, they say like, snap your fingers on it. I don't, I can't do that. If you guys can do that, let me know in the comments. I, I want to see that. But again, um, just like how I do it, I like to put my finger in, push down, and slide. Oops, wow. Let me push my finger again. So I'm just going to uh, twist it a little bit before I have something to hold on to. I like to twist off another bubble sometimes. And then put my finger in and pull. And then, as you can see, that broke. And then you can release. So that's another way. It's basically the first thing that I tell you. That's what I do. But that was just with a small little piece. So we're going to try it again. We're going to squeeze it down a little bit. And if it is tight, that's okay. Pop it anyways. Uh, I would probably warn the kids that you're about to... Well, that the balloon's going to make a loud noise. Okay? So, yeah. I come, I'm going to come up closer. I'm going to put my finger right on top. This is my pointer finger. Uh, that's what feels the most, com well, the most comfortable to me. So, I'm going to take my finger, pop it on top, push down squeeze with my other hand that way it's like that and pull and then every time I break off I'm pinching it still from doing it. Okay. that's the mirror out tie it up and we're gonna do it here so sometimes I just notice that I like push the air down in my hand and snap it that way. So uh, let me know. Do you guys like this video? Uh, do you not like this video? Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell for you're aware of when I post a new video. For you guys, are the first ones to get there. Um, I post every single day. Uh, it seems to be working. I got 18 sus I got 18 subscribers from it uh, so far, which has been amazing. If you guys want to learn that little trick uh, that I did with the balloon pushing the air, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'll be happy to teach you that trick. If there's any other trick that you've ever seen me do ooh, sorry, in a video before, um... I'd be happy to show you guys how to do it. Again, the, these videos may be a little bit long because I'm really trying to show you guys different ways that people do it, the ways I do it, and the easiest ways to do it for you. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, like I said, leave me a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button. See you.